hello friends welcome back to my channel and to another plan with me video please forgive me you will see that we are jumping straight into putting the plans down on paper this week because apparently once again like i mentioned in my previous video we lost some footage and it so happened to be that the footage that we lost for this video was me showing you through the beautiful kit so if you haven't already, I do believe that I show this in my March lineup video in kind of like an overview because I didn't have the kit at the time. So I kind of show you what the spread looks like at the end. Um, but it is an absolutely stunning kit from Planner Face. It is called Pixie Grove. It has been done in the like blue, green and purple colorway. I know that there is another colorway where it's a more traditional autumnal type colorway where it's got like your red, your green, your brown. It's more earthy. Um, but I picked this kit as a very last minute choice because this week is, of course, the week of St. Patrick's Day. Um, I should probably also tell you that this is the week of March 13th through to March 19th, hence St. Patrick's Day falling within that week. Um, and whilst I don't really celebrate St. Patrick's Day, I do love an excuse to use a particular themed kit or like a holiday kit or something like that. And whilst this isn't like super obviously St. Patrick's Day, it does nod towards St. Patrick's Day. So you'll see there that once again, we did lose a little bit of footage and there's now some full boxes and underlays down on the page. But you will see there on Friday, which is of course St. Patrick's Day, that I did pop a full box there that had the pot of gold and beer there. And that is very typical of St. Patrick's Day, though at some places you will find that they drink, they drink green dyed beer. So there's that um <laughs> but like i said i saw this kit in like i'd eyed this sh this kit off in the planner face store for the longest time i didn't buy it i didn't commit i kept looking at it and never purchasing it and then i decided very last minute that i did want to use a kit for st patrick's day and this was the kit that i opted for um, a little fun fact for anyone who may be new here or does not know i do in fact pr for planner face so you can use code MELISSA10 at checkout for 10% off your order and you can pop my name in notes to sell up to score my cute little freebie, which at the moment is pink and orange and does match the Fiesta kit in store perfectly. Um, but now that that is said, like I mentioned, I like honestly, when you see all of the full boxes down on the page, like there's something about that little fairy there on Thursday, the double box house scene and the way that the light flows onto the box, just the vibes of the kit. Like I did actually then pick this kit up from another store in the alternate colorway to use at a later stage, probably another year, but I love it. And I remember, I don't remember whether it was in, it must have been, I don't know if it was in the haul video or if it was in um, the lineup video, but I did talk about how I was unsure whether or not the brown would fit into the vibe of the kit because obviously the blue, the green and the purple are really vibrant and fun. And then you've got this like earthy tone, but then at the same time, I think the earthy tone kind of grounds everything. And I tried to not use a lot of the brown. Like I tried to just use like one of that on each day so that it wasn't overwhelming and kind of, use the bright colors in between to keep everything like fun. And I really, really love how the overall spread turned out. I'm really, really happy with it. And I am glad <laughs> that I made the very last minute decision to use this kit. Um, I do pair this kit with a combination of different gold hollow foils. So across the bottom there, I do have like a confetti gold confetti hollow gold from scribble prints um i think i used date dots to match um i've got foiled header overlays i think they're also from scribble prints co but i don't know if they're from the same like foil bundle they may be something completely different i can't remember and then i think my underlays might have just been like a standard gold i mean you can't really see them anyway kind of off topic but kind of not does anyone else wonder why in the world we use underlays or overlays, if you want to call them correctly? Um, 
why do we put them down to then have a kit where they're basically not showing? And by that, you'll see what I mean at the end of my spread. So right now you can obviously see the overlays and the underlays like quite well. Um, but at the end of the spread, because I'm pretty much a no white space planner, you can't really see, like you can kind of see like in some days there might be a little bit of a bigger gap, but you can't really see it. And so I kind of wonder like, why do we spend that money and why do we use them when you can't see them? Does anyone know? Does anyone have like a logical answer to that? Um, anyway, I'm just watching what I'm doing on the page here. So you will see that I did try to pop down the little like thin sliver of washi. So planner face kits come with like a thick piece that you can cut in half if you want to. It then comes with a complimentary 15, 15 millimeter. Is that what it is? I don't know. Five millimeter. I don't know. It comes with a uh, washi add on option. And then there's also that like thin bit of washi as well. And most of the time I do try to use it, but I think something happens here. I think I like play around with it too much. I use undo on it and I just don't like it. No, actually, sorry. I remembered that I forgot to put down my glitter headers. So I'd put down this thin strip of washi and I was like, why does my spread look off? Like something looks wrong. And then I realized it was because I put this, the, the washi there and didn't put my glitter headers in. And then if I tried to put my glitter headers in and the washi, the date covers were going to hit to the top of the page and or go over the page so I ended up having to take that off I had completely destroyed destroyed that tape in the meantime so I couldn't use it at all and then I end up just sticking to my regular glitter headers and that is it <clears throat> so there is that um again I do a cute little scene in that top left hand corner so I've just used some deco from the kit and my go-to paint splodges from planner face and then my sidebar itself, it's stealth. It's self is pretty stock standard. So we have my socials for the week and the book that I was reading. Although I didn't write the book in this week, I think it was because this was kind of at the stage where I changed books and I didn't know exactly when I finished the old book and what one I was reading. So I hadn't marked it. So I'm going to have to go back and guesstimate that. Um, and then because I did get the add-on toolbox, I did use that in the bottom left-hand corner as well. Come on, Melissa, can you catch up with voiceover, Melissa? Because we're really ahead of you. But I think I'm going to keep talking because you guys know what I'm like. I babble, I get distracted, and then the time ends and it's a great time. So anyway, first things first, Monday the 13th. So Monday the 13th is my little brother's birthday. He unfortunately is no longer with, with us. He is no longer with us. Um, may he rest in peace. Um, but I do mark his birthday each and every year. Um, I've then marked in that it was coffee Monday. Again, you guys know I'm probably going to transition away from that because I start every morning with a coffee. So... It's not really coffee Monday when you have coffee Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, but I want to use up the stickers that I have. So there's that. Um, I've then marked work with the cute little stickers from Planner Face that reminds me of primary school because I remember towards the end of primary school, I don't know what, what grade I was in, but I remember getting the like original IMAX, the ones that were like gray and then they had colors on them, but the colors were like transparent. Um, I've used those cause I think they're really cute. Um, and then this day I did note that I unstacked and restacked the dishwasher and then I did some recording. So this is back when I was in my like obsessed Sims era. I still kind of am, but I've had so much going on that I've not been able to record or upload content and making Sims content for YouTube is a lot more intensive than it is for like plan with me videos because plan with me is you pretty much like put your footage in, speed it up, cut some stuff out, put some music in if you want to and like call it a day. But with Sims, you have to like, the way that I film anyway, you have to like go through the editing process in great depth and remove so much footage. But then you also have to make sure that the clips transition appropriately. And it's just, it's a lot. Not to mention you've got to sit down and record for like two to three hours to get some decent footage anyway. Um, but back at this point I was doing that. So I have marked that I recorded some Sims footage that evening. I did mark watching maths and big miracles, maths being married at first sight. 
Then we jump across to Tuesday. Apparently I'm moving a little bit scattered over the page here, putting down my work labels first, which is probably smart because sometimes I'll forget and then I'll plan out my whole day and then I'll realize that I didn't put in work and then it's going to ruin my whole layout or I'll have to take something out or something like that. Um, but this day I did also have training. So I've marked that I did some training that day. I've then marked that we got a dog food delivery. I have been ordering a particular type of food for my dogs because both of them suddenly have sensitivities. One of my dogs is a French bulldog and he's always had a little bit of an allergy or sensitivity. So we've always just purchased him grain free food. And then now our other dog, um, he's a crossbreed um, cattle cross beagle. And he has now developed like an itchiness. So I started buying like a grain free, like a fish based type food. Um, and you can only get it online. So we've been doing that and then getting it delivered. So it got delivered on that day. I've then marked that that afternoon I played Sims. So I didn't record, I played. Sometimes I like to just build or make Sims or whatever it might be. So that's what I did that day. And then after I got done with that, I did mark that I sat down and watched my friend's Twitch stream. I had some chill time and I finished off the evening by watching Married at First Sight. Then we jump over to Wednesday. So Wednesday, I have started the day off by marking work per usual. I did also have some more training this day. So this is day two of training. There was three days of training um, this week for this particular group of people that I was delivering. So I have, of course, marked that in. Um, I have then, <laughs> I've then marked in that I was so tired that it was a long day. Um, I mean, I guess like a lot of places now, ever since COVID happened, everything's kind of being delivered like online. So the training that I was doing wasn't face-to-face, -face, it was virtual, which means you're staring at resources, you're staring at a computer screen, you're trying to be energetic, you're trying to hold people's attention, you're trying to teach people correctly, you're trying to answer questions, like it is just a lot. Um, and even though I was only training three people, it was, it was taxing. <laughs> I just like, I logged in like the same hours I normally do, but when I logged out for the day, again, same hours I normally would, I just felt so flat. I was so tired. Um, and I think that that cute little munchkin that I popped down there is like captures everything perfectly. Um, on Wednesday evening, I have marked that we got the Sims infants update. So for anyone who isn't familiar with Sims or the Sims games, um, we basically got an expansion pack where they introduced a new life stage to the game. So previously you would have like a newborn that would age up into a toddler that, that then aged up into a child, into a teen, and then into, sorry, not into a teen, into a young adult, then an adult, and then an elder. And they introduced a new life stage where between newborn and toddler, there was an infant. So you now have like extra time with your child as a little baby, which is realistic in my opinion. Um, and that update dropped that day. And then I marked that I had a cup of tea and I watched Married at First Sight. So I'm kind of catching up here. I must have done this spread out of order. Like some of my spreads I've done out of order because I've been waiting on kits to arrive or whatever it may be. And I can see that I've not written in any of my plans. There we go. I remembered. So I did go in after I'd done three days worth of planning and write my plans in. I can then also see that Thursday has been done and we missed it. So I better hurry up. Um, so Thursday I did mark work and then of course, like I mentioned, I did have a third day of training. So I popped that in. We had a 34 degree day this day. So I've popped that in as well. And then again, because I was so tired, I just marked that I needed all of the coffee. I then had my usual three weekly waxing and nail appointments this afternoon. So I pretty much logged off work for the day raced to my appointment because I literally get there like a bang on when the appointment's supposed to start. So if I leave any later than like the exact time that I need to log off, I'll be late. And then obviously my nail appointment's late. I get home later. It kind of like there's a domino effect. Um, and then when I got home from my nail appointment, I just marked that I chilled with the boys, meaning my husband and my two dogs. On Friday, the first thing that I've marked is that, of course, it was St. Patrick's Day and I did use a cute little beer icon 
because I have so many of them and I never use them. I don't drink beer myself and neither does my husband really. So I thought that this was the perfect opportunity to use a beer. I've then marked work and of course you can see it was another hot day. I've used another little sun sticker because it was another 34 degree day. Fantastic. We love to see it. And then I've marked that I had a cup of coffee after work. I did some laundry. I pulled some stickers and I've put a little popcorn icon there to mark that we watched some movies. I don't remember what it was. It must have been one of the Bournes because this is when we were watching the Bourne series. But I don't know which ones were which. Maybe I didn't know the titles of them. So I didn't write them in, but I think that's what we watched. But if not, either way, we watched a movie of some sort. Um, on Saturday, I've marked that we had a lazy morning. And then I did mark that I filmed some Sims videos. So this day I was filming some videos for my 100 baby challenge. I then marked that I had some coffee and then I stacked the dishwasher had a bit of a YouTube binge and again watched another movie. But of course, I haven't written down what said movie was. And then on Sunday, I'm going to try and get this through really quickly. Um, but I've marked it doing some editing. I marked that it was a 37 degree day. And then I also marked that my husband and I sat on the couch and watched Supernatural. Um, and then on Sunday evening, I watched my friend's Twitch stream. I made some pasta for dinner and I uploaded a Sims video to my Sims YouTube channel. If anyone is interested, I will link that below. I haven't uploaded content there for a little bit, but there's quite a few videos to watch if you are interested. And I do have intentions of uploading more videos. I have a bunch of footage on hand. It's just that I have not had the time or the mental capacity to actually edit those videos because like I said it's usually a good two to three hours of footage that you then have to go through in great detail and like edit and sometimes you're minute you're like you're editing like five seconds out or five minutes out but then you have to make sure that once that clip is edited that it kind of flows progressively into the next one without looking or sounding silly and it's just a lot of time and dedication and sometimes I just can't be bothered I enjoy filming the footage I enjoy making up the stories I adore my sims I love the sims games but as much as I love creating and sharing that content I think I went too hard too fast and I kind of burnt myself out a bit and I'm I like started like 35 different challenges no that's an exaggeration but I do have multiple challenges going so I think trying to keep up with like a new video for each of those challenges every week or every second week was a lot and I kind of overcommitted. So I do need to find some way of making it fit back into my schedule. I do eventually want to go back to streaming as well, but I need life to settle down a little bit first. But anyway, you guys, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you all very, very soon for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.